there, my name is Sean Deppner. I play Buck Waters and It's a Wonderful Knife, and you're watching Craving Something Scary. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, visitors, subscribers, patrons, and of course, my amazing Cravenites. Welcome to Craven Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Well, guys, this is an exciting night I've been waiting for uh, literally since Alex was with us the first time uh, and just a few months ago. And it's arrived. We are here. It's going to be a movie watch night of Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, this is you guys know how much I absolutely love love this movie. I've talked about it here so many times on live streams. And so and what's really awesome is that it's not we're not just going to watch the movie together, which is amazing. But Alex is here to actually give his thoughts and commentary and you know, of course, the great, you know, you can, you can, you know, buy the DVD and I hope you all buy the DVD and the Blu-ray to get the, uh, you know, Eli Ross commentary, what have you. That's great. But you're getting live real-time commentary from the John Carver killer himself, Alex Arm Brewster. And I am so excited. And just a couple of things before I bring him on and we, and we start up. Number one, and this was, I wish I could say... Uh, I, I geniusly planned this out with like, you know, advanced information. I had none on this particular thing, but it dropped. The movie dropped on Netflix today, literally today, the same day that we're doing the watch party. So if you're a Netflix subscriber, you can watch it tonight for free. Yes, that's right. And if you're not a Netflix subscriber, you can watch it on any of your video on demand uh, spots, you know, Prime Video, Vudu, you can rent it there. Not a, not a problem at all, or buy it there. Heck, if you hadn't bought it yet, this is an own movie. This is a two own movie. I'm telling you right now. And if you haven't seen the movie at all, well, you're gonna for, you're in for a treat. If you've seen it before, you're in. You already know what you're in for. Uh, I've seen the movie. I think I'm up to five or six times now. Approximately, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's. <clears throat> excuse me, goodness, sorry, got that. Six times, I think, and it'll be seven tonight. <laughs> but this is going to be unlike any other watch watch party because Alex is here. All right, before we uh, before, again, last thing before I bring him on, I want to say a blanket hello to the chat. Uh, we've already got over thirty people in the house and continuing to increase. So I, I you know, obviously. For the sake of time and Alex's time, he's being very generous to stay with us so long tonight. So uh, I'm not able to call you all out by name, but I just want you all to know that I'm scrolling right now literally through the chat and I see your names and I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you and a special shout out to my moderators. You guys are awesome. You know, Sarah, uh, Val, everyone here. That's moderating tonight. Thank you so much for your help and also sharing Alex's links to follow him on Instagram and also on Vimeo where you can see his stunt reel and follow him there. So all these links will be in the chat throughout the stream. And I thank you for that, guys. All right. So, guys, listen, uh, Alex will take your questions uh, through your chat. And as you guys know, with these uh, watch parties and my special guests, not every question will be gotten to, all right? Just won't be enough time. However, if you decide that you have a burning question, you really want it answered, you want Alex to see it, you can submit a super chat. And when you do that, it will I will move you to the front of the line ahead of everyone else. And I promise you that I will put it on screen for Alex to see, okay? You have my word on that. Uh, and we'll get to everyone else's as much as possible. All right. 
Real fast, guys, I want to knock this out before I bring them on because these are special things. We have a channel anniversary. Val has just hit the two-year mark supporting this channel. 24 months today. Val, that is incredible. You are now the first Cravenite to obtain the Platinum Skull by your name. I hope you like the skull, the Platinum Skull. You've got it. Two years of supporting this channel monthly. I appreciate you so much, Val. I don't even have the words. You know how much, you know what I think about you and how much I care about you and I appreciate you. What an amazing two years it's been. Tons of great memories made. Many amazing friendships and definitely tons of laughter. Yes, indeed. And much more to come. Welcome, Val, to the Platinum Club. That is amazing. And right behind Val, look at Jen, another of my moderators. Her 23rd month. You're almost at the Platinum Club, Jen. I'm right behind you, Val. <laughs> One more month, I'll be Platinum. What a wonderful almost two years it's been. Jen, I feel the same. It's It's gone by so quickly, and you've been such a big part of it. Thank you, Jen, for your support. And last couple, real quick, Bearded, my buddy Eric, with a $2 Super Chat. Let's get this party started. We are ready to Oh, I know you guys are excited. I told Alex backstage how excited I've been and that you guys are just as excited as I've been for this. And I know that through our conversations. So, Eric, I feel you, brother. We are we are about to do just that, man. Thanks for your super chat and your all your support, Eric, and your friendship. And lastly, but not least, Jeff Hill has gifted five memberships to the stream tonight. That is incredibly generous of you, Jeff, to do that. We have five new members, new Cravenites, thanks to Jeff's generosity and donating those memberships. So thank you so much, Jeff. I, I can't tell you how much that means to me uh, that you're helping the community grow so that more people can experience what it is to be a Cravenite. And I see that Paula, Paula Fitzhenry Row Ventures, Robbie Olson, Nathaniel Fincher, and Wayne Turner. All of you guys are back in the fold in the inner circle. And thank you to Jeff for your generosity in making that happen. All right, brother, that's very kind. Much appreciated. All right, and uh, now we are all caught up. Guys, are you ready? Let's do this thing. Let's bring back. I know you guys love them. I've gotten so many messages saying how much you've enjoyed the very first time he visited, well, he's back again. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast member of Thanksgiving, the John Carver killer, the man on the posters, literally in the costume, <laughs> that's him. And he's coming back right now. Please welcome Alex Armbruster. Hey, Alex. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it. Oh, man, the pleasure is mine, and I'll extend it and say ours. Believe me. Thank you very much. Happy man. to be here. <laughs> oh, this, this is so cool. And uh, I remember when you accepted the invitation when I was like, hey, what do you think about this idea of a watch party back in when November, I think it was, we met? And you were so open to it. You're like, yeah, let's do it. So, And it just worked out today, I think, with the whole Netflix. It's, it's like it was yeah, meant to awesome. be. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I'm jealous that you guys have it on Netflix. We don't have it in Canada up here. So I can oh, watch it digitally on my phone with you guys. That's so true. That's right. But Sorry. Soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's got to be, right? I would think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're they're coming out with lots of cool stuff for the movie, too. I saw there's a John Carver board game coming out soon. Do you see oh, that? No, I yeah. haven't. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, wow. Okay. You're doing, you're doing a really nice job promoting the movie. Wonderful, awesome. man. That's so cool. All right. I got to I gotta put that. I got to look into the game. I got that. That's something I'm going to have to get. I think it comes out like in November. I, I think it's just like a pre-order right now. But okay. I think November it comes out. Yeah. Just before Thanksgiving, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and, of course, lots of folks are saying hi, Alex, and welcome back there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, oh, hey, everybody. Everybody's very excited that you're here. Um, Thank you for having me. And Sarah says, this is the Canadian curse. She's in Canada, too. Oh, uh, yes. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Um, and of course, guys, here are his links. Don't forget, right, check these you. links out after the stream. Follow him on Instagram. He's got a great Instagram and great. He posts great pictures. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, you really do, man. I love it. I love scrolling. So, guys, you got to be sure and follow him there. All right, so here's what we're going to do, all right? We're, we're about to start the movie. I, we, I, I don't want to go any later than with the, much later than this. So here's what we're going to do. I will do a countdown, you know, five, four, three, two, one, and then I'll say go. Uh, so when I hit, when I say go or play, we'll all hit play at the same time. And, you know, we'll be, re we'll be, re we'll be ready to roll, all right? Um, give me one second here. I just wanted to... Check something in the chat. Make sure I see. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, yeah. Super chat came through. I just wanted to make sure. All right. Uh, real quick before we start, Super Center, thank you for your super chat. We'll we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, show this. And before we start the movie, hey Alex and Steven. Alex, I met Eli Roth in 05 on the set of 2001 Maniacs. He's super nice. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Yeah. He is super nice. Yeah. Him and I yeah. got along really well. Um, we're going to be at uh, Spookala in mm -hmm. April, beginning of April in um, Tampa, Florida. Uh, him and I will be there. So that's going to be pretty cool. It'll Ooh. be the first time I've seen him since we shot the movie. So I'm excited. That's and so cool. Spookala. <laughs> yeah, and Spookala is in. I got to look it up and get the details. I don't have it in front of me. Um, but that's, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big one. And big yeah. convention, and yeah, guys, you know, make plans. I'll, I'll I'll pull that up while we're watching the movie, so I can give an update on more details on that. And actually, as it gets closer, um, Alex is going to come back again, so that we can talk more about that convention yeah. appearance. But that's going to be awesome that you guys are together, though. That's really, yeah. really cool, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, so cool. All right. Um, yeah. So it's going to be that's in Florida, right? That's yeah, Tampa, Florida. I think Tampa, it's Florida. Yep. Well, fifth to seventh, I want to say. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. All right. Good. All right. And more and more information to come on that, guys. But, you know, make plans if you can already to see him live in person. And uh, you can get a photo op, picture signed, the whole nine yards. We man. do cool photo ops too. We we just did. Um, oh, what was it called? It was uh, it was in Atlanta. It was a convention in Atlanta. Um, mm -hmm. The name is escapes me at the moment of the actual con, but okay. um, but it was really fun. We did really fun um, photo ops, and uh, we had the screen news mask in there as well, and. Um, we had a different hat in that one, but uh, as I was telling Steven, um, I was talking to the costume designer on Thanksgiving, and she made me a custom pilgrim hat, um, with, it, which she made the original one as well. So it'll be identical to that one pretty much. So that'll be good for the photo ops. That'd be awesome, man. Woo! I tell you, I'm, it's so the, the idea of that is so cool, man, and. You can get you know a photo with with Alex and the, and the screen use mask. Now that he's working on the hat. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And also, uh, Drew said, "I need to get my neck of John Carver signed by you, Alex." And that figure, have you seen it, Alex? It's so I pre I pre ordered all of the action figures a long time ago. It's I was notified that that one was shipped to me. I haven't received it yet, so I've never seen them in person. I'm glad you guys got them first, and I would love to sign it for you. Absolutely, it's going to yeah. be awesome. Oh yeah, bring God. bring everything you got. I'll sign whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. I I I, I saw the um, someone posted a picture on social media of the figure in the box and everything. I'm like, I'm like that Neca is to me the best anyway. Their it's, stuff is so good. It's super detailed. Yes. Yeah, just all of the different weapons you can you can switch out, and mm -hmm. just the detail in the coveralls. All, you, all, you know, you can see all like the wrinkles and the texture. It's yeah. it's beautiful. It's a really nice action figure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna own that. I I got to get on that too, man. Before they all 
sell out. You know, I'm gonna yeah. actually it's already out of stock in the NECA store. Yeah, <laughs> find them other places. But. Yeah, yeah, that's some other retail outlets online. Yeah, um, but I'm gonna get one. I will get one because it's too cool not to have it. They're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I want to remind everyone real quick. No, we are not having any spoilers, guys, in the chat of this movie. Okay, um, please, no spoilers. We got, we've got first time um, watchers here in the chat. We've got folks um, that have not seen it, and you know the rules. That's the rule of the channel, guys. I've always, I'm a no spoiler channel. I've always been that way. You guys know that. So please, moderators, I'm going to ask you to be extra, extra on, you know, tight on that for me, okay? If you see anything that is a spoiler, please delete it immediately. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Now, Alex is the only person. <laughs> authorized by me to share anything he wants to share. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is a commentary watch party. So we're not just watching it. He's, he's going to be giving his feedback and giving us insight. So if he, and I told him, right, he was very, you know, he, he's already asked me, he was very concerned about it. And I appreciated that. And I told him he has freedom to suit, to say anything he wants. So just be aware of that. If he says it, it's okay. Anyone else in the chat, though? No, not not not. We're going to keep the rules as always. Okay, appreciate it. <clears throat> Having said that, everyone, if you have your move, the movie pulled up, Alex, is there anything you want to say before we start? Um, no, just enjoy the show. You know, I'll try not yeah. to talk over it too much. Um, turn your subtitles on just in case. I I guess, but uh, <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, right. It's a good reminder. Subtitles on, guys, please. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready when you guys are. I'm excited. All right. There will be no leftovers. There will be no <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> there will not. Well, I'm excited, guys. We're this is going to be a real, real treat. Uh, so, so get yourself ready. I'm going to move Alex. I'm going to move you over there, so that way I can see you as I'm watching the movie. There we go. All right. So, guys, please cue it up, whether it's a Netflix or whatever streaming service you have. Zero, zero, zero. Pause it. As subtitles turned on. All right. And I'm going to count down from five. And then we're going to all hit play when I say go. All right. Here we go. Alex, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right, everyone. Here we go. Get ready for a treat. Five, four. Three, two, one, go. I see Sony. They're gone. Now I see this, the sun. I mean, the, the horse. Yep, got the horse. Okay, I'm just making sure we're locked in as close as possible. Okay. All right, here we go. And of course, we have Spyglass. Yep. You know it's going to be good just from the music at the beginning. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it sets the tone so much. Yeah. Oh, this is, here we go. <laughs> no head. <laughs> oh, it's 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 so good to see Patrick Dempsey back in a horror movie, man. Yeah, yeah. I love his um original Boston accent too. Uh-huh. I think he's from Boston originally. So oh, nice. he had to lose 
that accent just for regular roles, you know, but yeah. he was really able to be able to bring that back in this. That's awesome. Yeah. I love Rick Hoffman too. I was a big Suits fan as well. Yes, so yes. That was super cool to be able to work with him. That is, oh yeah, he's great in Suits. Yeah, Lewis Litt. Man. <laughs> uh, true, man. Right Mart riot scene. <laughs> oh, this is, I love it. <laughs> I love Tim <laughs> Dillon. He's so funny. Yes. Oh, wow. Quentin Gilmore with a $20 super sticker for the channel. Thank you, Quentin. I love the sticker, man. It looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Nice work, wow. Quentin. Yes, it's so generous. Thank you, brother. Much appreciated. Oh, thanks, Jason. Jason, wanted to give you a shout oh, out, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate that. I had a lot of fun. Thanks so much. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's really great cast. I think the, the the whole ensemble is really good, and yeah, you know, and great character development in this movie. I think. Yes, definitely. Yeah, all the cast really. You really believe that they were friends, you know? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> the best part is that like for the riot scene, it's yeah. like like all of my friends <laughs> that I work with all the time. Oh, that's great. I take all of them out. It's so funny. Oh, that's awesome. And those scenes are really, really fun to shoot. I bet. It's insanity, isn't it? It's insanity because they kind of let us go little freestyle they just they say kind of like pair up with someone and just like make some crazy fight up basically stay like oh. make sure no one gets hurt but you know yeah through. yeah <laughs> oh fun yeah and someone who does stunts for a living that's got to be like dude you know oh, like yes. it's, it's those magic. Like, like bar fights and things like that like yeah yeah just like the most fun scenes for sure yeah because you can just use what's in your environment as, mm -hmm. as a weapon, like a box or a shopping cart or like, or whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Find a creative way to, to do a kill. Wow.
<laughs> so Alex, I think I think Peter said, if I remember right, there were like a, maybe a couple of hundred people there. Is that right? Would you say by maybe two or three hundred? Then they mirrored mirrored um, it out a little bit, or I wasn't there that night, but okay. um, I think yeah, I think I mean they had. I think they had a couple hundred extras and then yeah, and yeah. probably around like 20, 25 stunt performers. And okay. um, they probably had some, we call them SSEs, which is a special skills extra. They'd be the kind of buffer in between the stunts happening and the background running around. So okay. that they mingled in and, and hurt by accident or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But they, they may have digitally put some in in post production. I'm not 100 okay. percent sure on that. Yeah, I remember. I just remember him saying, you know, there's a lot of people there. They brought in, and it was an old Walmart, abandoned Walmart store. Oh yeah. Hey man, um, we are at eight minutes. It's on Netflix, so it's kind of weird. It goes backwards. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you get the timer. You can see it, like, counting down. Oh, okay. It looks like about eight minutes and 35 seconds, man. Yeah, thank you guys in the chat for helping me out with this timestamp. Thank you. So are we still going right now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're yeah. going. Yeah, we're good. Someone was just asking for a timestamp. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Sorry. I should have clarified that. All good. See, I wonder the weird stuff, Alex. Like they had to stock that. They went and bought all that stuff to stock it with. Do they return it all to a Walmart, you know, or Target, or do they? I what are think they try to return as much as they can. <laughs> yeah, <it> makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Either that, or they they try and I I think they they sell it at like set sales and things like that. They can sell it to people. Okay. Okay. To try and um, get some money back. Good. Yeah. So nothing's wasted, you know. Oh sure, sure. Yeah. And these are all my friends doing the pushing and all this stuff. Nice. That's so cool. And that was my, uh, when you saw Patrick fall down there, that was actually my buddy, Jeff Meach. Oh. Uh, he was that night. <laughs> that's so, that's so neat, man. You, you, can, you know, you can have these special memories, like, you know, knowing these folks. It's so cool. Yeah. Dude. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> man. Suspense. I love it. Oh. Man, that's terrible, dude. Just awesome. I love that. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's called a home aloneer when you do a slip like that. Yeah? That, that's that home was alone. Yeah. yeah. That's called a home aloneer because of the, you know, when he slips on the steps in home alone. That's that right. Was, uh, that yeah. that stunt is called a home aloneer now. I love it. <laughs> right to your back. <laughs> Man. Addison I'm, getting some elbows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everybody trying to get their waffle iron, man. Yeah, that's, 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 waffle. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Christmas music. So good.
Oh man. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, I feel bad for him. Oy. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. Yes, I've seen the movie five, six times. I still get into it. I can't help it. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's so well done. I, I just, I'm in the moment, you know? That's how you know that it's well done. You can watch it over and oh, over, again, right? Exactly, Alex. 100%. Like similar to Home Alone, for example. Like, you know how you watch it? You watch it every year at Christmas, right? Right. I, <laughs> I never yeah. get sick of it. No, never. Man. That's so gnarly. Those are all my buddies right there. That's actually Thomas Lorber doing that the punching there. Yeah. So he, yeah, he jumped in to double um, John Carver on a couple second unit scenes that we shot. Oh, nice. That, that was actually him there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. Oh. Oh, man. And that's the original Thanksgiving font that they used in the trailer, I believe. <laughs> oh, so good. What a what an opening, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's that's the way to get a movie started. I remember we had to shoot this in the layer. And then this is yes. This is me here. And uh I remember I had to wait till this came on the screen and then I had to shut it. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know what, Alex, from the right here, this early in the movie, I, they're already letting us see the layer. Yeah. They're giving us this insight into the killer that I just love, man. So, there's yeah. so many slashers, you don't get any insight like this. You yeah. don't. And we ended up shooting that stuff um, after the the initial like shoot of the movie. So okay. we, we shot most of it in the spring, and then it was we were all wrapped and everything. And then they came back in August to Toronto to shoot some additional scenes, and that was part of it. Uh -huh. That was an original game of the movie. And oh, I'm glad I'm glad that was added in. Yeah, I really I really do. Just want to remind everyone coming in late, be sure your uh, subtitles are turned on because Alex will be sharing insight as the movie continues. So that way you'll be able to read and also hear what he has to say is special insight for us. <laughs> oh, here we go, Alex. There we go. There's the mask. And that's Amanda playing Lizzie, and she she was awesome. I worked with her once before on a movie, or as a oh, TV show. Okay. Um, but we knew each other before yeah. this, so that made our scene together coming up really fun. I was going to say, that added a little extra, if you guys know each other. Yeah. That was my buddy Bass Reitzma <laughs> doubling him, doing the awesome driving in the orange Bronco. No, that's awesome. <laughs> so this diner is at a big back lot that's uh, that was built for the show Reacher that's on Amazon. Yeah. And then Reacher, yeah. they, uh, they sold it to a company called um, called Whites, which is like a big like production rental company. And okay. yeah, so they, they bought it and now they rented out to all the productions up in Toronto. So yeah, that's doing, cool. yeah, a lot of it was filmed in this back lot. Interesting, man. Yeah. Okay. Ooh.
<laughs> I agree, Jason. Yeah. So this was filmed in a pioneer village just north of Toronto called Black Creek Pioneer Village. Oh. All these buildings were already there. Oh, well, that's, that's one nice. Of these, one of these houses was one of the, I think it's one of the oldest houses in Toronto, actually. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's great where you don't have to build sets, man. That's Yeah. Saves a lot of time, for sure, and money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they were only working with a $15 million budget on this movie. It was pretty low. Wow. Wow. Well, it was well done. Well, a good use of the budget for uh, casting, the cinematography, everything. Yeah. yeah. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I feel like they did a good job of, of um, making like social media and Instagram like relevant in the movie mm -hmm. I mean, with like generation. I haven't really seen that a whole lot. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're getting tagged. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how they, you know, I won't reveal, I don't want to spoil anything, but yes, I, you're like, you're right. hundred mm -hmm. percent. It's key throughout the whole movie. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> JT led promotion on Instagram. Yeah, yeah John Carver. Cool. Yeah. I thought the same thing. They did a really, really good job at promoting everything with this movie. 
Um, mm -hmm. Better than like any other movie I've been a, a part of, honestly. So, yes, I like that they allocated a lot of their budget for that. <laughs> yes, agreed. Ooh, it makes it fun. Oh yeah. Are you red tour? <laughs> Dang. That's me. That's me right there. There he is, guys. There he is. Oh, I, oh, that's this is funny. They're like, "Hey, can you sharpen an axe?" The one Ooh. night, I'm like, "I've never sharpened an axe in my life, but let's uh, let's try it." <laughs> <laughs> we, we made it work. <laughs> it looks convincing <laughs> to <Yeah>. me. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is so good. This is my first night as. Uh, John Carver, right here. Guys, get ready if you've not seen this. This is this is Alex on display. That's John Carver. This was my first shot right here, and that was a tricky little piece of timing right there. <laughs> yeah. and that's all about timing, right? Yeah. It is. It's this horror and comedy are all timing. Mm -hmm. They're very similar in that regard. That's a good point. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude. Oh. And in the sink we go. Oh. Woo. We didn't want to do that sometimes. That was quite the reset for her hair. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yes. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's nasty. Gosh. Woo! Little axe flip. I love the flip of the axe. Yeah, e Eli was just like, yeah, like, we'll just walk over here and, I don't know, like, just do something cool with the axe. So I just said, yeah, just to look, this little spin. Nothing too crazy. He that didn't was... have a lot of room to work with, so. It looked great, though. <laughs> it immediately told me the mindset of this killer. Yeah. Like, John Carver is in control. He is, he's intimidating. I mean, all yes. that stuff. Yeah. And he's confident enough in his confident. ability to like play with the weapon a little bit, you know? There you go. That's exactly right. Confidence. He's not nickel and dime in this. No. And I like that they, they incorporated the phone there. Like you couldn't like get her, her it, you couldn't read her face. Mm-hmm. Again, using like the modern technology. Yes. That's cool. Very. Mm. This, is, this is like probably three in the morning <laughs> oh, <laughs> after it just man. poured rain like all night. Oh. I love, yeah, that was a fun Oh, <laughs> oh that's awesome. <laughs> That must Woo! be a dumpster lid to do that. <laughs> well, hey, guys, let's give a round of applause for Alex as John Carver, first kill right there. Thank you. That's the first kill, yeah. Amazing. Wow. We had some fun rehearsing that scene, too. I had, I got, They gave me this, this crappy old uh, Honda Civic hatchback, and uh, we had to rehearse that a few times because – there was a special effects rig inside that dumpster that we couldn't mm -hmm. hit too hard or else it wrecks the whole the oh. rig. And there's some puppeteers doing some of the work with the legs kicking in yeah. the air. Wow. We had to work with all Man. of that. So Ooh. we had a big bungee rig on the back of the car, hooked onto the car, so it wouldn't let me go past a certain point and wreck the dumpster. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> wow. So it was kind of a funny impact. It, it like pulled me back a little bit, actually. Woo. After I got to the end of the, the stretch. Oh, man. Did it feel good when you could finally go the full distance, like without being held back? Just like, you know, hit it? Well, it, it always held me back. Every, even in the final oh. show, like, it always held me okay. back. Yeah. Okay. I just, I had to keep it maybe at like, you know, it was just like 40 kilometers an hour or something. Like that. But it's fast enough when you're going to a dead stop like that. Sure. Heck yeah. You have to wear like a five point harness and all that stuff. So, wow. Yeah. And you're getting some applause in the audience for your oh, amazing you. scene. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 
Thank you, Al. <laughs> Ooh. we shot that shot the very last shot of that first kill night at seven in the morning oh <laughs> man i saw 13 hours of shooting Ooh. i remember yeah. i was i was dead tired doing that <laughs> i can only imagine man <laughs> So was it like from here straight to the hotel crashing or what did I do? Um, I, this is only like an hour and a half from my house. So I think I tried oh. to drive. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hmm. <laughs> I love his character. Yes, <laughs> I do. I do too, man. <laughs> Got a question from Polar here for Alex. The costumes uh, for John Carver? Mm -hmm. um, as far as I know, it was always that one. I, I had never saw any other versions of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I absolutely love it too. It's so unique and mm -hmm. original. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's creepy, but it's... It's functional, except for the mask. <laughs> the mask comes off pretty easy. <laughs> oh man! Everything else is great. <laughs> I saw that stunt reel where they, where that your hat kept coming off. And oh that man! Night. That night. Like, oh mm -hmm. no! <laughs> it's because because uh, Scuba Gabriel he was throwing a barrel at me, at, and I'm and I have to hit the barrel, but all the it just explodes and it like hits my hat and my mask oh. every time. Man. And so we we. And we had to do that quite a few times, probably like 10 takes or something like that to get that to work finally. Cause I had to keep running out after that, out of that, that house and then down a set of stairs. And then, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil too much yet, but sure, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But just if the mouse moves it like the tiniest little bit, I can't see anything. And then I, I oh. can't, I can't fix it in the scene or else it kind of ruins the scene. So I try to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to just kind of like glide down the set of stairs and hope I didn't yeah. fall. Dang, <laughs> man, that's not going. <laughs> Managed not to fall somehow. <laughs> man, good, great balance, right? Well, yeah, great I balance. <laughs> we eventually got it. Wow.
Scott wanted to give you a quick comment, Alex. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm, tr I'm trying. <laughs> You're killing it, man. Thank You're you. Killing it. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's awesome. And it's, it shows, I think in, in your, in your performance. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's next? Mm -hmm. This is my oh, this is my favorite kill. I like this one a lot. <laughs> yes, me too. I love that the cat's name is Dewey. So, yeah. so great to have a scream reference in here, man. For sure. Oh, man. That's right, Sarah. Got to love it. Dewey. Dewey the cat. <laughs> I'm a cat person, too, so I really enjoyed this scene. Getting to work mm -hmm. with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe that's the same cat that was in... Um, the movie Pet Cemetery as well. Oh wow. Okay. I believe Eli called him Leonardo to Catbrio. To Catbrio. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh -oh. That's funny. Looking John Carver mask too. Yeah, then, well, which is interesting. I love how stealth and ninja, you know, just stealth that Carver is, you know, and just man. I remember being in the other room when he was doing this. <laughs> I could just hear him <laughs> yelling this all night. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, dude. Oh. Fun fact it was actually a knife on the day and not a, not that, um, Carving knife. It was like that that different whatever it's called, an electric knife. Oh yeah. It wasn't that. They CG'd that in. That wasn't oh, really there on the day. No. It was just a regular wow. Thing. Yeah. And the beheading was great. I like that. That was my favorite kill. I thought it was very like assassin like. Yes. And that's a like scene, being able to do that. Look at Carver. Sure that John Carver does have a heart after all. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like at that moment, I'm like, oh, I actually, oh, I like this guy. It's like, you know, you're conflicted, right? Exactly. Because, yeah. <laughs> no, but that that's interesting. Well, what you said about the electric knife being that CGI, because I could not tell. Yeah, I, I don't looked, know why they changed it. Wow. Just something different, I guess. I, yeah, it looks good, though. Yeah, oh, I like that. It's like kind of like shaking in them, too. Mm hmm. So I'm doing this right here. Okay. And this head is heavy and it's really, really hard to get to balance like that properly. I remember I had to put it just in the right spot on the back ridge of that plate so it didn't roll over and wreck everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And Did with that the gloves on, I have no dexterity in my fingers. And to do all the stuff with the napkins and everything too, not easy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Did that take a few takes to get it the. Did, it did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hard. 
that was like those were those little insert shots like that are were very stressful <laughs> to get right. <laughs> Ooh. I bet they were. He's not happy. Nope. <laughs> hey, Paula, I see your question. I'm going to save this for after the movie because it could be a scene that we haven't gotten to yet. So I'm just going to hold that for you, okay? So just stay to the end, and I'll uh, bring it up for Alex. Super tenor, I, I I feel you, man. Let's get Alex in a ghost face costume. Mm, that's yeah. What do you think, Alex? Hey, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I could join uh, my buddy Max the Ferriere as ghost face. Heck yeah. Yeah. I was, just I was just emailing Max a few days ago. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he's such a nice guy. Yeah. Him and I are going to go to the London Comic Con in July uh, oh, together. Fun! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Sweet. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've seen him. Oh man, that's great! Long flight to talk. Yes. Yeah, it's a solid eight hours or something like that. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Wow, that's great, man. Yeah, it should be fun. Oh, gosh. Oh. Such a good scene. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Alex, we, now we, we've got uh, uh, the audience has got you now. One also need to be the next Michael Myers. Hey, we got you. Ooh, interesting. We uh, got you. Just another friend of mine yeah. was was uh, played Michael Myers in one of the more, more recent ones. Um, Aaron oh. Armstrong is his name. I worked with him oh. on the Boys on season four for a little bit. Oh wow! Huh. Hey man. <laughs> Why not? John Carver, Ghostface, Michael Myers, you can do them all. I have no doubt about it. Hey, if, if the opportunity strikes, <laughs> I won't say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That'd be great. Could it be him? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's a suspect. Mm -hmm. they, they did a good job with that. Mm -hmm. Keep you guessing. Yes. That's right. Lots of motives. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> friction between them oh yeah <laughs> well, this guy he's good <laughs> he is <laughs> Hey, Mila Mutant. Welcome to the chat. Oh, man. Oh. Of course, you, you know what? If you've seen the trailer, you know what like, could be coming here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. You're like, is it going to happen? I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. dude. That's, oh, man. <laughs> creative kills, man. I love that about this film. Yeah. They're, you, they're creative. They're different. I love yeah. that. <laughs> Imagine if you did that at a real school now. <laughs> <laughs> <Wouldn't Bro. fly. laughs> I don't think you would have made it out of that truck. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and this was one of the scenes uh, that I didn't do. This was my friend Jeff Meach for the scene. Okay. Um, Eli wanted to change up who doubled John Carver a little bit. Okay. Um, just because he didn't want to give away uh, with body movement who it might be. Mm -hmm. So for a couple scenes, okay. he, he jumped in as well. Gotcha. Okay. And the movement is different if you do if you pay attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Actually, I do know some of this was while watching the uh, Eli's commentary. Um, mm -hmm. He mentions that Patrick did do some of the scene, which I didn't know until. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, I thought okay. it was Jeff, but uh, yeah, out here. Gotcha. I love this axe flip that he does here. I yes, so nice. That's so cool. I I love it too, man. Yeah. I think it was a good choice. Playing with the weapon, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Kind of goes back to the confidence you were talking about earlier, which I think is so key. Yeah. I remember me and uh, the cast and crew screening of this, me and Jeff were sitting beside each other and we just gave you, I just gave him a fist bump when I saw that. I'm like, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of this was Patrick right here. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, man. Oh. Mm. It's cool that the the choice Eli made to hear the breathing. Mm -hmm. And the mask is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Apparently, a lot of those mannequins were actual school projects from kids, so they couldn't wreck too many of them. <laughs> Seriously? That's yeah. great. Because they, ah. they weren't planning on using that area for that for a scene like that they kind of improv that scene ah okay yeah And that's how he just tosses the coat. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> He's a good character too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh.
I love all the secret compartments. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bobby. Thanks for your $10 super chat, buddy. Appreciate your support. Snow nine inches. Wow. And a 14 hour shift, dude. I get some rest, bro. Where are you uh, living for, with nine inches of snow? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot mm -hmm. of snow. <laughs> As always, you the man. And what's up, John Carver? I mean, Alex, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's <That's> awesome. <laughs> Bobby, take care. Be safe, brother. Be safe, yeah. man. Rest up. Thanks for uh, your support, as always, man. Much appreciated, buddy. Yeah, take it easy. It's a long shift. <laughs> yes. Woo. It's keeping your hours, Alex. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, we did a few different versions of that corn cob thing. <laughs> we did some where like, I, I had to like, smash it. Uh huh. We had a lot of different uh, corn cobs that we were testing out a lot of cleanups. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bob is in Jersey. That's right. That's right. I... New Jersey. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I drew a blank there for a second. Mm. Yeah, I'm in Toronto. So we have similar weather to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> this was one of the additional scenes that we shot in August that wasn't originally in the movie. Oh, wow. Again, I mean, I think another great choice to that to have it. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. oh, hi, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, man. So to make that look good, we had to actually, we started with the corn cobs touching the ear without the prongs in, and then we just yeah. did this, but then she had to react in reverse so that we could and then they they played it back in reverse so then it looked like i went in <laughs> oh nice dude but we made okay. it work okay yeah movie just so magic I, just so i don't you know i have to yeah. go close to her head and, and possibly yeah. hit her <laughs> absolutely man wow but then this part it's supposed to be in the same scene, but I, I had a schedule conflict and I, I was supposed to be here for this, but I couldn't be here. I, have, I was scheduled on another show. <laughs> oh no. And so Jeff had to pop in here and do this part of it. <laughs> <laughs> a little interchange, interchange real quick. Yeah. That's awesome. Bro. Oh, heck. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh, 
That looks so Dude. good. Oh. 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 Dude. Wow. Yeah, good reaction to that too. Mm-hmm. Man, another one gone. Yep. <laughs> the turkey. <laughs> Ah, uh, this place. This is near Toronto. It's uh, an old power plant called the Hearn. We always film in there, and it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no heat, right? No heat. It's all, it's, there's like, the concrete is so thick in this place that mm -hmm. it just trapped the cold inside. Oh. And we film in there all the time because it, lo it looks nice cinematically. Yeah. yeah. But, uh no one likes working in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this part of the parade was filmed in a small town near Toronto called Port Perry. All right. And there's a section where they turn a corner and then it becomes the back lot that I was telling you about. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. man. I love how, you know, I call it movie magic, but I, I just think it's so, it's so amazing how it's put together, the editing. It's cool, right? Mm-hmm. So, hey, Max is here. Hey, Max, how's it going, buddy? What's up, Max? <laughs> Good to see you, just buddy. Instagram. I need to get back to him after. <laughs> that's so awesome. For everybody in the chat who may not be aware, it's Max Ferrier, who's uh, the aged ghost face in Scream 6, guys. He's here in the chat with us. Thanks, Welcome. buddy. That's very kind. You're also very talented. I hope we get to work together again soon, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, Wes. 
Yeah, Max, gotta get Max, back to Montreal. <laughs> we were just talking about Max, you and you guys going to London for your your convention, man. We were talking about that a little earlier. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So cool. A couple uh, of Canadians in the UK. Gonna be fun. Woo, yeah. <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh, Max, thank you for stopping by. It's so nice of you. And uh, and and guys, just so you know, I'm working with Max right now. We've been chatting a little in email to have him back on the channel soon. So stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Thanks, buddy. You just never know who's going to stop by. I know, right? On a live stream. So, so cool. Oh! So inside that mascot costume is another stunt performer named Jackson Rosario, very talented guy. Okay. And this is... That was Vincent Rother, really talented stunt man on the stilts. And that, oh. with the ship going through his face, that was Randy Butcher. And he was the stunt coordinator who hired me for one of my first gags ever. Oh, yeah. nice. There's a show called Mayor of Kingstown with Jeremy Renner. He stunt coordinated that show. He wow. did the show Flashpoint and so many more. Yeah. That's so cool, man. It's it's so there's so much like loyalty and I love that, man. In this well, we're all it's a very tight community. Yes. Yes. And we all rely on each other for for safety and um and everything as well so yeah like it, yeah. it's really helpful that we all know each other and can mm -hmm. lean on each other when we need to a lot of trust right yeah thank you max appreciate you buddy that's so awesome thanks buddy uh yes oh this is amazing Another one of my favorite scenes oh also, yeah we're gonna Go be ahead. in the original cut then they added it. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy about all these choices that were made when you're telling yeah. me this is like, Alex, anything you want to share about this whole sequence right here? Yeah. So for the close up shots of the chopping and all that, they would, uh -huh. they added a sous chef for that, which I'm grateful for. Cause I remember looking at the <laughs> script of, of all the chopping and stuff. And I'm like, Oh man, I can chop things, but I'm not like, super yeah. efficient like an actual chef would be so i was like man, should i like start practicing and then i and then i was i talked to the stone coordinator i'm like hey do i need to do this and he's like oh no they're gonna hire a sous chef for that for the insert shot so i was like okay we're good then so then i did the wider shots of like the brushing and all that stuff too nice we switched out wow and he was doing his thing i was kind of like kneeling like watching what he was doing so i could match it if they needed me to <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Did she do pretty good as far as like not moving or laughing or she did a great job, yeah. Yeah. I, I give her lots of credit. She got yeah, it wouldn't feel great to get like, you know, vegetable oil right basted all over your face and stuff and in mm -hmm. your eyes. I think she, I think some got in her eyes. Yeah, and she oh it's not it's not so great. Yeah. For your eyesight. <laughs> yeah. So that's me right there doing all yeah, that. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. You'll notice the oven says Rendell on a Rendell mm -hmm. oven. And that is from Jeff Rendell, the screenwriter of the movie. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. A little Easter egg there. I love that too. Just checking out the new mask. Yeah. Like yeah. how does it look, you know? Yeah. yeah. Looks, and I love the burn mask as much as the original. Yeah. It just makes it a little more, you know, menacing mm -hmm. the pitchfork was fun i enjoyed this as a weapon so cool and and here's again the cat and mouse and so i love about this so much you are hunting right yeah. now yeah and he let me eli was he kind of let me have the reins a little bit in terms of timing like when i'm when i choose to you know look under the table and all this stuff and mm-hmm mm-hmm Wow. Yeah, this was a fun scene. Hmm. Mm. 
Mm. Man. I had a lot of fun with this scene just because he, he got to play with the beats of just looking around a little bit and mm -hmm. trying to make it as creepy as possible. Oh, yeah. And then she's gone. It's just so such a great sequence, man. Hmm. We filmed this. This was in like a big barn, that part of it. And then it actually switches sets to a different house on the same property. Okay. Just next door from the barn. Oh. All right. In the same uh, Black Creek Pioneer Village that we were shooting the other oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. All the same spot. Okay. Awesome. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. Man. I just love the suspense that gets built up here. Yes, 100%, man. Especially that shot. <laughs> that's a good shot. Oh, that's great. Yes, one of the best of the movie. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. I love this part. This was fun. I had to throw that with my wrong hand. I'm a lefty, so that was not easy. Oh, when we, when we shot part of that, there's a cameraman halfway through the door, so I had to really make sure I didn't hit him. <laughs> Man, so they just for the shot, they needed me to use my right hand to make it look right. So oh. I was stressing and over that one. I, I bet. <laughs> and were those actual metal? Uh, spikes on the pitchfork or do you, do you remember what if they, what they were was a, yeah we we had a metal version and then we yeah i think we put a rubber version in for the actual throw but it, okay. the wooden was real and not something i wanted to hit the uh, cinematographer bradley i think his name was with yeah so you know, to really be mindful of that <laughs> <laughs> but either way you chunked it <laughs> I mean, you threw it, man. I, it was, I threw it. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I used to do some javelin in high school, so I was just channeling that mm -hmm. <laughs> for that. <laughs> but, of course, the oven scene here is like... Oh, look at this shot. Gosh, it's horrifying thought. Yeah. Oh, dude. I've been all day doing that. Oh. Oh, looking for her. And then she had to get all these prosthetics oh. done for the burns and everything, too. And yeah. She worked hard. Wow. Mm. Mm. 
แอร嗯，嗯。Wow, <laughs> that's me lifting it off right there. Oh, me and Patrick kind of switched out for certain shots on this one. Okay. Oh, it's it's just so messed up, dude. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. Patrick did that one. Dude. That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he had her in the fridge. I mean, yeah. Oh. And I came around and did this with Rick, which I loved. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, this just shows how demented John Carver is, man. Oh, yeah. Just completely demented. Oh, yeah, Polar. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh. Ruthless. Oh. Dude. Oh. Oh. And I, I did a couple of those shots, yeah. head, which was tricky because I, the first time they gave me a, oh. uh, a, a fake meat tenderizer. So it was mm -hmm. just like a light kind of plastic. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't know how hard to hit this thing. It was, they wanted a, the first hit to be good. So, I mean, I tried to hit as hard as I could, but at the same <laughs> time it's plastic. So you don't know like how hard you actually have to hit it. So, uh, they oh, weren't yeah. super happy with the first one with how like it ended up like breaking the head open. Then it took mm -hmm. too many hits to break it open. It just wasn't heavy enough. So yeah. the reset took like an hour to reset. And then we did, yeah. they gave me the, the real one. It was just very heavy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then we just destroyed it the next time. And oh. shots. 
<laughs> wow. Man. Hmm. Mm. And this is Patrick doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh man! That's a, yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> oh. 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 I did this with Gabriel. Mm. And then this part I was supposed to do, but I was in the other house doing the oven stuff. And then Thomas Lorber jumped in to do this <laughs> for me. Oh, That's wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. How? How you have like just a little one here, a little one there mixed yep. in. Yep. But it's clearly your role, man. That's me there. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh. really it's, it's mixed in a lot. And then that's 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 where I going down the stairs, that's where I almost had to uh, you know, I was gliding down trying yeah. to uh not fall. That was right there that when you ran down, that was that yeah, was yes, the, because the mask was off. Yep. Mm. This was fun. Oh, I like this shot right here. Mm hmm. Ooh, see, you could just feel like the anger. Yeah, like, like the anger it's right anger. there. When you just have like this blank mask, but you can feel the emotion through it, right? Yeah, I totally did. I, I was like, oh, he's furious. Oh. Oh. Mm. Dang. <laughs> oh boy.
<laughs> Man. Oh, man. How about that, guys? Uh-oh. Oh, we got ourselves a twist. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. Putting on his gloves. He is... Mm. Getting into carver mode. That's right. Hmm. Man, wow. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, no. live streaming, <laughs> just like us. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? Yeah, I love how over the top he goes here. <laughs> I do too. So great seeing Patrick Dempsey in this kind of role. I love it, man. Yeah. It's, it's not his usual McDreamy self. No. <laughs> We shot this whole scene in about two nights. Two Very nice. Cold. Very wow. cool. Yeah. That's quick, Alex. Wow. Yeah. Now you did some doubling here, right? Uh, yeah, so I doubled Patrick here. Patrick. Mm -hmm. You'll see where he uh, takes a little spill in a sec. Yeah. That would be me. Yeah. 
In fact, here you are, for those who want to look at the screen real quick. Yeah. That's me there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, man. There we go. It's me and him chatting. That's awesome. Telling him how to become sexiest man alive. I, yeah. uh, I gave him some tips, so I guess, I guess you hey. listen. <laughs> there you go, man. You had to share the wisdom. <laughs> right. So that's me falling off the truck there. Okay. And this unraveling of the cable, it all happened in the same shot, and I just got up and did that. And then we just cut to him doing it closer. Okay. And love that. Yeah, it's nice. Uh oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boom. Yes. And we actually did explode a turkey there that, that, that night. Me diving out of the way there, we didn't okay. have time to shoot that night. We were running out of time. So we shot that part in front of a green screen in a studio with uh -huh. just some flames. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's so seamless how it how it looks though it's just a, just incredible man yep crispy mcdreamy val says <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah <laughs> Could that be him? Oh, guys. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't know, Alex. We won't know till 2025. That's right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Woo man. There you go. Hey, everybody. Give it up for Alex Armbruster, guys. John Carver. Well done. Amazing. What a great, great movie. I, yeah, I mean, it's so much fun to watch. You know? It is, yes. It's kind of it's the rewatchability is insane. Yeah, in this movie. Yeah, I don't know what it is. The pacing is really good. The dialogue is yeah. good. I mean, it's it's yeah. yeah it's, just, it's just easy to watch for some reason. Yeah, it, it really is, man. And wow, just it's just so enjoyable. Uh, Caden, I believe uh, Caden is absolutely right. This yeah. is such potential, Alex, for this franchise. Um, and, you know, we were talking backstage and, you know, I want nothing more than Eli to to get on the phone, text you or something. Now, you'll be seeing him and you'll be seeing him soon. I know in a couple months. Yeah. But he needs to make he needs to pull the trigger or, you know, he needs to grab the axe, you know, pun intended and say, um, Alex, you're back. I want you back. You're my you're my guy, and 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 uh, and and, uh, and Thanksgiving too. But but here's what I want to say real quick, as we talked about, and remind everyone in the audience as well. And keep in mind, if for any reason, Lord forbid, that doesn't happen. I, I'm I mean I I'm hoping it will, 
Yeah, it's it everybody is. control, you know. Um, there's, you know, there's availability, there's, um, you know, shooting locations, depending on where that is. Yeah, that's a good point. Who knows? Right. Who knows? A lot of factors, right, that could be yeah. involved. But here's the thing that's amazing, guys. And think about this. No matter what happens, and even if he does come back for five more movies, all one thing that will always stand in history is that Alex was the first. You <laughs> were the first John Carver. That's in stone. Kind of like when you look at the Halloween franchise, right? 13 films over 40 years. Well, Nick Castle is still revered as the first Michael Myers. Right. And, and his he, he's etched in stone. So, Alex, I'm telling you, you, sir, I bring that all up to say you have etched yourself in stone for this franchise. That's no pretty cool. What, isn't it? It's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. Um, it, the thing I've liked about, you know, working in film is you, you try to, with whatever you do, you try to leave some sort of legacy mm -hmm. with, with your work and your energy and, and your life. And um, mm -hmm. film is a great way to do that, you know, like yes. long after I'm dead, there'll be, it's nice to know that there's like, my name's popping up here and there again. You know, it wasn't all for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like yeah. Do that, so yeah, it's a legacy. It's a, every film you're in, every you know TV show, anything you're in, you are in, is part of your legacy that lives way beyond what your years will be. Once you'll be, I'm sure, tons and tons. Um, but hopefully. you never know. Yeah, hopefully, right? We all hope, right? Right. Uh, the Jerry says, Alex, what a performance, man! You have mad talent, brother. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. I appreciate that. Yes, um, indeed. We always, always remember the first. That's right, <laughs> Fuller. You're so Thank true. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what what an incredible experience this this has been, guys. Yeah. I, and, wow. you know, it's, it's crazy because, like, I was just going into this like it was any other job for me. I was yeah. just talking to the, the stunt coordinator on the movie mm -hmm. saying, hey, you know, like, I just sent him a text message and I was doing some research on the movie, seeing what's, you know, what's coming up. And I found this Thanksgiving movie and then, I, and then I saw, Oh, Patrick Dempsey's um, looking to star in it. And I looked up, Oh, Patrick's, you know, five, nine or so. And that's, that's my height. So I messaged mm -hmm. my buddy, Dan Skeen, who's the stunt coordinator of the movie. And I said, Hey, um, you know, if you need a double for this guy, I'm his size. And he said, actually we do. So Wow. Yeah, job. I said, yeah, sure. And then Damn. I found it, and I found out more about the movie as we went. And uh the and then the first time that there was John Carver on screen mm -hmm. happened to be when I did the diner fight there. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was the first time I kind of yeah, kind of set the tone for the character mm -hmm. uh, that day. So that was really fun. Yes. Uh, All that yeah. scene is that, amazing. And I thought I was just going to be, you know, doing the stunts like normal. And Patrick was originally going to be there. And then mm -hmm. it was, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a night shoot. And for whatever reason, the production decided, hey, we're going to get Alex to do the whole scene. And then that whole scene went very well. And then we kind of kept doing that, uh, except for the school scene, which was Jeff and Patrick combined. And then Patrick jumped in for a little bit of the dinner scene as well. But uh, and then. Yeah, but I I ended up doing most of it, which was uh, a real privilege and a challenge, and uh, I'm glad it went well. <laughs> Man, it was amazing, and I think I told you this. So I'm yeah, I know I do. I know. Excuse me, I know I did when we first met that night, and I was like, when I watched this for the first time, I was impressed by so many things, but one of the things that just immediately really jumped off the screen to me and really got me was your performance as John Carver, because, you know, so many people can just walk around and kill somebody, but that's not what was happening here. Liz, mm -hmm. you had such intention. Uh, you, you communicated with your body language, your movements, how you ha handled yourself, the confidence without speaking that's so it's so vivid on the screen mm -hmm. and i just I, I said immediately i have got to try 
all I can to, to get Alex on the channel and meet him because you, yeah. it was so impressive. It still is even Thank tonight, you. still impressed. So yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Like with, with stunts in particular, it's like very common to go through a, a fight scene like too quickly and too fast. Yeah. It's really important, especially once you get into more acting, you realize you need to really play the beats to the camera mm -hmm. so that the audience can read what it, what it is you're trying to communicate. And um, in order right. to have those, the confidence to, um, you know, to, to play those beats, uh, like you have to just have experience and, and just, yeah. just to have the confidence to, to, to just be there on on screen and not feel like you have to be doing something with your body all mm -hmm. the time it's just everything is just very subtle you know yeah it just is little movements and I, as i said before like it, it's you it, i'm just trying to in my mind with the mask on i'm trying to zoom out and and do what what would scare me and what i would find creepy mm -hmm. on screen you know yeah is really fun wow. to try and do well and it's it's amazing because it was effectively executed like you know it wasn't just like what you're thinking that's maybe your starting point but you delivered it you you actually achieved it thank and you and not everyone does i'm telling you i see i do I'm, slashers are, is my genre and there are if you look up you know mass killers in a movie there are thousands yeah but you know what of all those movies there's only for me a tiny handful tiny amount that are memorable right and you immediately became memorable for me so awesome. man i mean i could just i could just keep on i could just keep this going all night because of how much respect i have for you Thank and your you. talent and Wonderful job, my friend. And again, I am I've got everything crossed I can cross that that it's gonna work out for Thanksgiving too. Thank you. And I really I will nothing will make me happier than as these next, you know, because I know it's gonna be a long time before they shoot, you know, we're still writing it for you said like a year, right? So yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a while, but yeah. whenever that time comes, whenever it is down the road. If you and I talk and, and and you're able to, you know, if whenever you're able to share that, if that does indeed happen, I I'm gonna just be ecstatic, dude. I can't even tell you. So yeah, you we'll just, see. I hope I can give you some good news on it. <laughs> yes, my friend, hundred percent. Yeah. Um. So guys, listen, uh, we're not gonna keep Alex much longer here. Uh, he's been so generous with his time tonight. We do have a super chat I want to get to. And then uh, one other question that Paula sent in a long, long time ago that uh, if you don't mind, we'll close with that. But real quick, Sarah uh, sent in a $5 super chat. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you for modding tonight, helping out with Val and the team. You, you always do such a great job. It says, thank you for coming back and visiting us again. It's been so fun and it's so wonderful to get all this special insight into the making of this movie absolutely thank you thank you for having me again i, I really appreciate everyone yeah. tuning in and um yeah. and listening to what i have to say about it <laughs> i appreciate it um yeah it was it was super fun to make i'm so happy you guys enjoyed it um i, I being in film i do i work on a lot of shows that that um that some of them aren't that great. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, it pays the bills and we sure. do what we can like in our department and stunt department mm -hmm. and everything. And, and we do what we can, but sometimes it doesn't get, it doesn't convey to the, to the audience and become a big thing like this movie has. And it's so cool to finally hit the jackpot and the right project that actually like resonates with, with mm -hmm. everybody, you know? And yeah, uh, yeah it's just, it just feels yeah. good to be of a project like that and i'm just so lucky there's no other way to put it like the stars just aligned for this thing to happen and for me to get this experience to like i was like i wasn't supposed to get this this role i wasn't supposed to have this mm -hmm. the way it's turned out i thought it was just a, like the same stunt doubling job i normally get 
which yeah. is awesome too. It's like, that's, sure. that's a cool thing in itself. Mm -hmm. um, but to have it go the extra mile and to um, portray the killer for the majority of the movie and, and to um, just to interact with all of the, with all of the awesome fans at conventions, mm -hmm. things like that. It's a very unique opportunity that we don't see very often. So I'm very grateful to everyone for, for that. It's oh really man. Well, and you know what you made that you, you took it, you took the uh, opportunity by the horns and you didn't let it go, man. And that's, that's, that speaks to you, my friend. Thank so. you. Thank you. Got to yeah. try to roll with it while I can. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, real quick guys. And, and of course, you know, lo lots of accolades and th people thanking you uh, for coming by again. Lots of folks are, thank you. You know, they appreciate it. And, Scott again says, "Looking forward to seeing you in two. That's right. That's how we're going to talk. Hey, to, let's, that's let's right. manifest that together. <laughs> I, that's exactly right, my friend. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, real quick, last question, and then we'll let Alex get on to it because I know it's it's getting really mm -hmm. late. Mm -hmm. What was the most dangerous stunt in the movie? Was there one that you would classify as that? I got lucky in this movie because I'm." In most films that I work on, I'm usually the bad guy. And that's when you do the most dangerous things, typically. When you're the killer, mm -hmm. usually you're on the easy end of the thing, uh, of the kill, of the stunts, uh, you know? Okay. Um, and yeah. Yeah. The most dangerous, I mean, the car, the car crashing into the dumpster was like, I mean, we had to make sure we were properly harnessed mm -hmm. in and everything for that, that. There's always things that can go wrong when you're crashing a car. Sure. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The oven was all. It was mostly like I found the most challenging thing, like just like the acting beats and playing that out, which is mm -hmm. something I wasn't as used to. So like that was something like in my mind, that was like the most challenging thing for sure. Okay. But in terms of like being dangerous, I probably would have to go, yeah, with the with the car, I think. Or you know mm -hmm. what? Um, like, or just coming off the tow truck too. There's another oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Patrick, as his double. Yes, there. that's right. Yeah, and that was like a super cold night. And I did not feel like doing that oh, <laughs> in gosh. that moment. That was just like a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's like I, you Falling said to almost make yourself. That time, it was like probably two or three in the morning. Oh, freezing in that building. Oh, you know, as much as I love being on a big movie like that, there's certain times of the day you just don't feel like doing that. And that's sure. just where you have to just suck it up and just do it anyway. Yes. After the fact, you feel good. Everyone's happy and everyone's like really, you know, stoked on the shot. Eli was really happy with it. <laughs> and then it's all good. Um, and it's like, can I go, can I, can I go sleep now? Or can I, yeah. <laughs> can, when can I, can I leave now? Am I done for the night? You know? Yeah. Um, no, but I, and, I, and I had to hang around for the rest of the night till, you know, the, till the sun came up sort of thing. Sun's up, man. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. Man. Well, I tell you, it was, which it was just a wonderful performance overall, man, everything you did. And, and I, and I know you guys are, are saying how much you love the movie. And, and I knew you would for the first timers tonight, everyone else who had seen it, you already knew. And I appreciate you guys coming to enjoy this really amazing experience to have Alex here and give us all this insight. So what I love to like moving forward, Alex, next time I watch the movie, which will be probably this week, Mm -hmm. I will be watching it thinking now of all these, these little tidbits and nuggets that you shared as I rewatch it. And that will be a part of my experience moving forward. All of our experience for sure, forward, which is wonderful. Yeah. And yeah. It's fun to have the behind the scenes knowledge. You yeah. look at it differently for sure. <laughs> yeah. It, it changes and it just adds stuff that it's special, makes it really extra special. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, listen, I said I, I promised I was not going to hold up Alex any longer. So, Alex, I'll meet you backstage in just a second for sure. our final goodbye. Um, 
But for everyone else in the chat, again, thank you all for participating tonight. If you're watching this on the replay tomorrow, later this week, a month, six months from now, it could be even. Uh, thank you as well for watching. Be sure you leave a comment in the comment section below if you're watching it on replay. For everyone else, thank you for your generous super chats tonight to support the channel. Great questions and comments for Alex. Much appreciated. You guys are always uh, always show up and support. And this was a special one that we've been waiting for a while to do. And I'm just so thankful that we were able to do it tonight, Alex. Thank you for making this happen, my friend, and, and giving your time tonight. Thank Anytime. you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and thank you, everyone, for tuning in. It was a pleasure to uh, to speak with all of you. And um, yeah, please, uh, you know, yeah, you know, send in all the questions you want. I'm happy to answer them. Add me on Instagram. You know, yeah, I'm happy to talk to everybody. So yes, um, it's a privilege to do what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. I, I love sharing all of these, uh, you know, tidbits and information with you guys. So oh man. Thank you so much. And again, everyone, the links are in the chat to follow Alex on Instagram. Be sure you follow him tonight so that way you don't miss any of his amazing posts that he does, his pictures, his posts. You'll love them. Trust me. You'll want to sit there and scroll and look at all the ones he's put. They're really entertaining. So Thank make you. sure you follow him tonight, guys, after this stream and show up <laughs> love over there. And Alex will come back. We're going to shoot for the end of maybe next month because we're going to talk about his upcoming convention appearance in April. And so at Spookala in Tampa. So more to come. Stay tuned, guys. So he will be back. I will yes. be back. I love it. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to call it there. Thanks again. And have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Good night, everyone. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.